Welcome to our topic, Print Book ISBN and Accession Barcodes. During this training time, I'll be giving you some terms along with an overview of the printing process, and I'll show you within the application where you can print barcodes, which is actually under the automation icon. And last, I'll give you printing tips and procedures along the way. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and we'll get started. Now that we're logged in to the TipWeb IAM application, I want to locate the help icon in the upper right hand corner and click, which will bring us to the TipWeb IAM help area. We'll start by selecting show, which will reveal the table of contents. And in particular, we're going to click on Automation. From within the submenu, I want to choose Print ISBN Accession Barcode Labels. We'll start with Overview. Please note that we have two terms we want to discuss. The first is ISBN, which stands for the International Standard Book Number. At the top of each label you print, you'll see the ISBN number along with the title of the book. At the bottom of the label, you'll see the accession number. The accession number is generated from within TipWeb IM and it is a one-time unique occurring number. This accession number is then used to distribute or assign a particular book to either a staff or student. Another key tip to note is you're going to want to use a laser printer with a setting of 600 dpi or dots per inch. The label sizes that you need to use are Avery 6578, which is a polyester label, or 6572, which is a paper label. These particular labels allow you to print 15 barcodes per page. You'll have five down and three across per sheet. We'll go ahead and scroll down and discuss some very important printing tips. Note that you're going to need a PDF reader in order to properly print these labels. For version 10 or higher of Adobe Reader, make sure while you're printing that you choose actual size and choose the paper source of PDF page size. You'll want to print in portrait. If you're using any other version of Adobe Reader, make note that page scaling should be none and you want to auto rotate and center. Next, let's go ahead and click on print ISBN and accession barcode labels. In this area, you can come back and get step-by-step -step instruction on how to accomplish the task. Now I'll minimize this screen and we'll go back over to our TipWeb IM application. In the left navigation bar, we'll locate the automation icon and we'll select, which brings us to the automation page. From there, we'll click on Print Book ISBN and Accession Barcodes which will open up the Print Book Barcodes page. First, we need to locate the particular book that we want to print barcodes for. To execute that search, we can search by a default of All, or we can choose ISBN, Title, SLC if your district uses that coding, or Vendor Publisher. I'll start with a default of All and enter a keyword search. I'll click the binoculars to execute the search and then from the list I'll locate and select by highlighting in yellow the particular book that I want to print, which will load book details at the bottom of the window. It will include the title of the book, the ISBN, the number of books owned by your particular campus, along with the option to select the number of labels you want to print. I'll highlight and type the number of labels, and then let's look at the accession number. 
This accession number will change not only when your campus prints, but also when other campuses within your district print. Please note that no accession number will ever be repeated across your district. Next, I'll go ahead and click on the Print Barcodes icon, which will bring up the PDF of the books that I've selected or book I've selected to print. Note again that the labels populate three across and five down. The top of the label will include the ISBN and the title of the book. The bottom of the label will include the accession number. Next, let's talk about what you do if let's say you've used a partial sheet of labels, but maybe you have five labels left on that sheet that are blank, and you do want to be able to go ahead and use those. To show that example, I'm going to go ahead and locate a different book, click my binoculars to execute the search, and select it by clicking. From the bottom, I'll change the number of labels I want to print to 15. Instead of clicking on the PDF icon, I'll go ahead and click on the blue arrow to select starting label number, which will bring me to the sample sheet of labels. If I've already used 10 labels on a particular sheet, but 5 labels are still blank, I can begin the next print by selecting the label I want to start on. Once I've selected the label, I'll select the PDF icon for print labels and open up an example of what that sheet will look like. It will start on the last column so that we can utilize those five blank labels and then move on to the next sheet to continue the printing process. This concludes our topic, Print Book ISBN and Accession Barcodes. We want to thank you for watching, and remember you have unlimited support. Please find additional materials and videos on our Support Center.